you know, those things may happen, but then there's also a high probability that price may move down and then continue back up to do a retest in order to continue the move down, right? So what I would say is whenever you're faced with a situation, situation like this, excuse me, it's always a good idea to just sit back and watch, you know, because these are extremely risky trades. So if you have only one trade to take, two trades to take, and you want to take a trade based on the fact that, okay, next candle is breaking the low, and you haven't watched this enough happen in the market, there's a very high chance you're going to lose a trade. And once you lose a trade, you're going to be very disheartened because you'll be like, oh man, like I was waiting for this, I took the trade, and Roger Bank says it worked, and now it didn't work, you know, because you haven't watched it enough. Because the thing is, the more you watch these things happen, the more you miss out on um, impulse entries like this, the more you're going to be experienced enough. You know, the more you're going to know, okay, like, you know what, I've missed out on this trade a couple of times, maybe. Maybe this is not the right trade for me to take, you know, because some people, if they see that, they're like, okay, you know what, we're just going to wait. A lot of times when I see candles breaking the lows like this, I'm just like, hey, like, you know what, I'm just going to wait for a retest. Because sometimes I'm not confident enough, but most times when you are confident enough, you're like, okay, you know what, I'm willing to take this aggressive trade. And when we're talking about risk and aggressive trades, you're always reducing your risks. Because when impulse entries are aggressive trades, and I, man, I tell everybody, if you're going to take impulse entries, reduce your risk. 